Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about the most brutal Reddit AMN Ask Me Anything I've Ever Seen. And yeah, so whenever you type in Mythic Markets, this will be number one on the search page. Hi, I'm Joe, co-founder and CEO of Mythic Markets. I've been playing MTG since revised, but I mostly draft on Arena these days. There's been a lot of speculation and concern expressed about company, our company's legitimacy, how it works, our relationship to Channel Fireball, and more. So essentially, this is a PR push. Uh, this is what they want. They want you to invest in them. They want you to fund them. And essentially, the business model is instead of owning a Black Lotus, you can own one two thousandths of a black lotus how do you sell your share there's not really any way to sell it there's not really any way to trade it it's just kind of there and you know that you own it now one of the things that is very apparent is whoever dis whoever controls the ability to sell it which is mythic markets is you can't hold more than 20 percent at any time you can only buy 10 percent, and then you can I guess buy another 10% from another shareholder. So since no one ever has a hundred percent of it or 51% of it minus mythic markets, perhaps you don't have the ability to sell it, even if you sell it. So if the card goes up to $20,000, no one even knows that offer is made from $10,000. There are a few other problems. Uh, that the Reddit has been very, very good at catching that I personally didn't catch. Uh, the main problem is the selling thing. Who determines when the card gets sold and to who? So what if they sold the card to their friend? So what if Lewis Scott Vargas lent the card out to their good friends at Mythic Market and for $10,000 and that's what they paid for it, that's what the investors paid for it, and then suddenly... Lewis wants his card back, but he only wants to pay five thousand. Well, Mythic Market makes money, Luis makes money, and the stockholders are kind of screwed. So there's a lot to read, a lot of really great questions about it. Uh, there's a lot of negative. I don't know why exactly Joe decided to go on this because he was absolutely demolished. Um, he doesn't seem like a super intelligent individual, to be honest, the way that he's handling this. And I do get it. You want to open yourself up, but you do want your takeaway should be more credibility. His The number one search thing will be this forum, will be this Reddit thread, and anyone reading it, I don't believe this is a very good advertisement from any company. I think this is pretty bad, and this is very embarrassing. Uh, I'll read a comment. There's so many comments to read, and none of them are positive, okay? This is just so embarrassingly, glaringly, one of the worst investment schemes I have ever seen. I'm shocked that LSV is willing to promote and defend this. It's, just, it's basically just asking people to buy magic product for you with all sorts of reasons why they won't get anything out of it. I really hope people are smarter than this. John Seso, owner of Channel Fireball, is listed as an advisor to Mythic Markets. How much was he paid and or what stake was he given in the company to advertise this business venture? No answer. So they only answered the questions they wanted to answer. They did not answer any questions to they didn't answer any of the really tough questions. They just answered, here, 30 minutes, 30 comments, and not a single reply yet. This should be good. Maybe as good as the judge program AMA. The account is currently at negative 23 karma at the start of this AMA. Wonder where it will be tomorrow. So yeah, let's see um, how many negatives. Let me click on their account, Mythic Market. Negative 96 karma. So, yeah. I mean, it's pretty interesting that they would even attempt to do this. 
it somebody in their PR department should have prevented this from happening because given how many comments, given how many times their name so not not every not every news article is good. You know, I know people say all press is good press. That's not true. If the press is about you being a magic gathering judge who preys on people, that that's not good press. I don't care how many times your name is mentioned, that that's not good. Or, you know, that you're a cheater like uh you you're Watanabe. Again, no no no. I'll pass for that. Honestly, we don't need you. I'm going to say in the most clear and sounding way I can in my second language, which I guess is English. We, the players of this game, don't need small-time investors that can't get into the real investment game to come and speculate on the tools to play the game and rip off naive folks. 424 points upvoted. Mythic Market with negative 47 points. Hi, thanks for the feedback. We heard from many players who are excited to own a piece of high... But like, what do you own? You own a pin? A binder? What? Like you're never going to touch that Black Lotus that you supposedly own part of. You're never going to see it. Like, You just know it's somewhere in the U.S., maybe. You don't really know what state it's located in, for goodness sake. How are you going to own it? Like a piece of history... Okay, um, so this company is really, really bad because, like, can you own one one hundredth of the United States Constitution? Because if you could, I'm sure someone would have made that business model. I think the only reason this business model is being pursued on Magic, just similar to Pico Trade, is because Magic players are the only ones dumb enough to do this. So I come from the sports cards. I own lots of Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant played basketball. Uh, about like Lower Marion is um, my high school was Henderson High School, and we would play games. We would play tennis games against Lower Marion, and obviously Lower Marion still sells Kobe's jerseys. So he's pretty a big deal where I'm from. And even then, like even in the crazy sports memo industry which is really crazy they're selling gold and diamonds and sapphires and i mean like i'm talking about like large chunks of actual gold they're selling i mean anything that can sell they will sell and i'm talking about like huge diamonds too and for them not to come up with this partial ownership is really ridiculous right because it doesn't work your intention is to make the game, and again, this is a game before anything else, unplayable. You and your business disgust me from a different user with lots of votes. What's the long-term plan here? Crowdfund buying collectibles and hopefully reselling them as a profit for all investors? For MTG in particular, will you always open it? Will you sell these singles? I... It's so weird that a company like this can exist. It reminds me of that one company on Shark Tank about the real estate and then you could own like one one hundredth of like a condo. and But at least then you would be collecting rent, right? So at least then you could collect rent and they could resell it. And there was a lot more liquid ways to... I mean, it was still a bad idea. Don't get me wrong. It's still not a good idea. I, I would not... I advise anyone to do that, but at least they're collecting rent. Here, what are you collecting? Nothing. So Mythic Market is, I mean, they got roasted to bits. Mythic Market is a funding platform, not a broker dealer. So what you're saying is that people are just funding you to buy the product for yourself. I mean, that's, that's exactly how I would summarize this. And for them to have the audacity to go on Reddit and think that they were going to gain investors or dispel no... I mean, come on. Like, come on. Like, this is just the worst PR I've ever seen. As I've mentioned in other comments, you have glossed over the massive liquidity risk associated with a second their market not developing. This is what they said. Although the buy list was actually our inspiration between the trading platform, we are not licensed to be a market maker for securities. We totally get it if people aren't ready to invest 
until we have a secondary market in place, we'll be announcing its release and all the details over email for any... They said it was going to release in 2019, according to their website, which has obviously not been updated. We are not licensed to be a market maker for securities, so why are you pretending that your derivatives are securities? Are you worried that posting this during the first set of core 2021 spoilers will take attention away from this post? It certainly feels like this was the intention. I mean, all their posts are just negative. Just negative, negative, downvotes, downvotes, downvotes. This is really interesting. Um... I understand the community's vigilance when it comes to new products and services, especially those with innovative and unfamiliar. I think somewhere they call their technology disruptive. A, it's not a tech company. Please don't call it a tech company. And B, it's not disruptive. How is this disruptive? What are you disrupting? Like, seriously, what are you disrupting? This is the most obnoxious, self-serving thing you could say. You're basically saying our business model is super... So smart that you idiots won't understand it. It both reeks of someone trying to pull one over on someone else and is generally insulting the people who you want to be your customers. Stop preying on naive people who just want to play the blanking card game. I mean, they got butchered. I have never seen anything this bad. This is... You and your scam can blank right off. 34 likes. And point seven, you may, I mean, do you honestly believe your business is not a scheme? Didn't Rudy make a video? Didn't Rudy make a video making fun of this practice? Owning a percentage of a card is so out there, but like Rudy says, there are Timmy's out there that will do it. Wow. <laughs> I can't think of a worse timing to post this. Crazy bad. Cra crazy, crazy bad, guys. This is a bad company. Bye, guys.